Hey guys, what's up? This is Federico. In this video, I will update you on my team's patent selections process. So last week, we selected our top five patents and we tried to narrow it down to maybe two or three patents this week. However, did we did encounter some logistical problems, meaning that the professors didn't really answer to our emails, all but one that we're meeting tomorrow. Um, but in this video, I'm going to talk about our three uh, top patents. One is the one that I've been talking about in past videos, the occupant tracking fan. Another is the uh, ultrasonic finger uh, fingerprint ID. And then the third is the data storage device. So the occupant tracking fan, as I've explained in previous videos, is basically a fan that is able uh, through a camera to recognize the movement of air and the location of people. And, the and, and through this technology, it can regulate the intensity and the temperature of air based on each individual's preference. The use that this patent can have is to uh, reduce costs because uh, about 50% of the energy consumption of a normal business usually goes towards cooling and heating and this device can uh, reduce this energy consumption by about up to, up to 20%. And so, um, because it would reduce the waste by only using the amount of energy that is actually needed. Uh, I calculated the uh, total addressable market to be about $2 billion in the United States. And the uh, serviceable market would be in Los Angeles, uh, about $20 million. By assuming uh, 20 floors per building, uh, 200 fans per floor, and $100 profit margin on each fan, and, and uh, having as target contractors. Now, this was not our first pick. However, um, I decided to talk about it because we might end up doing it if the other um, the other professors don't collaborate with us. However, another another patent that we are very interested in is the ultrasonic finger print ID system. Uh, I think it's a really cool idea because what it is, it's basically a new technology that it's called uh, ultrasonic technology that is better than the currently used capacitative or um, visual technology uh, because it allows the sensor to not only read the external part of your skin, but actually also the um, subskin, basically the second layer. So other than being much more accurate, it all it is also much safer, and it could extend the use of fingerprint IDs, uh, not only to say your iPhone, but also uh, safes, locks like a, like a house lock or a car lock, um, and even ATMs, which would be really cool because imagine just going to the ATM, putting there your finger. Um, and just getting and just getting the cash out it would it'd be a really cool uh, technology finally the data storage device is basically sort of a tattoo sticker that you can uh just kind of like put on your finger or anywhere else and it basically stores data specifically your credit card data effectively replacing the credit card so imagine being able to go to a concert or um just go out with your friends, go, go anywhere without having to carry that card because you can just go hands-free with, with your sticker on you. I think it could be kind of like the next step after credit cards basically took away cash. This could be the next step after credit cards. Uh, so it's definitely a very innovative invention that interests me personally a lot and my team as well. This was actually our first pick. But uh, again, we can't really collaborate with the professor for now so unless we get more lucky in next week in the next week we probably will have to discard this option um that's it thanks